Hey guys, this is Chris from GB Cars and today I'm going to show you how to replace a battery in your modern car. Now this can go from any cars from say 2013 or above, but I'll show you exactly the steps that are involved. Now, around about 2011 up to about 2013, the manufacturers of these vehicles start making cars that need a standard 12 volt um, supply to their car's computer. Um, this is very important because it keeps certain things inside of the computer memory constantly um, in operation. So if the car is disconnected from its battery, it tends to lose these memory and the car start acting weird. So I'm going to show you today how to keep the memory of the computer while you're replacing your car battery. Now, why did manufacturer decide to do this? Well, it's just to um, cost you a bag of money in terms of bringing your cars to the dealers to reset these um, computers just in case you decide to do it by a professional. No, they charge you loads of money that you could save by just doing it by yourself. Now, I'm going to show you um, a very easy way that you can use to do this also. So I'm gonna be using a 2013 um, Mercedes-Benz C180 to do this um, installation of the battery. And if you're using any vehicle above 2013, you're gonna to need to do this step also to ensure that you keep the memory of your vehicle. Now, how do you know the cutoff um, in terms of the cars that need to do this step? Well, definitely, I'm not really cer certain, you can't call me, you have to do your research, but definitely cars above 2013, you definitely need to do this step in order to save the memory. And even electric cars, your Teslas, they have batteries also. Many persons didn't know that they have the standard 12 volt batteries, but they do, so have to look for it. And you definitely have to do those to keep the memory of them while you're changing those small batteries inside there and different cars come, come with different size batteries so you have to be sure of your manufacturing if you're not certain just ask the battery professional you're going to be purchasing the battery from so let's say you have a german vehicle say a mercedes-benz or bmw you definitely have to do this process in terms of um, um, saving the memory on the car because it will act up if you don't do that and let's say you have a domestic vehicle say above 2013 they're about you definitely have to do this process and if you're in doubt if you have to do this process just do it anyway because you won't damage a vehicle once you do this process but if you don't do it think about the negative you might lose their your your programs on your computer and the computers of the car might start acting up um, I have a 2004 um, F-150, so I may not need to do this process with that vehicle because that vehicle is too old and the computer might not recognize that it has been disconnected from the battery. But let's say you have a 2018 or 2015 um, BMW, you have to do this process to save on the battery memory. So let's say you have a newer vehicle and you decide to disconnect the battery. So the computer of the battery says, okay, I'm unplugged. Um, what's going on? I need to do something. And definitely will definitely cause some issues with the car. So, but I have a perfect solution for this, and especially for newer vehicles, as I said earlier. So just stick with us and I'm gonna show you how to prevent memory for your cars in, when you're replacing the battery. Okay, so here's a device that's going to save you hundreds of bacons when you're deciding to change your batteries on your modern um, motor vehicles. Now this one is called a jump pack and basically this device is normally used to jump start your vehicle whenever you're um, stranded in a location. It has two terminal, a negative and a positive terminals. I'm not going to use that capability to jump start the vehicle to um, in this um, demonstration, we're gonna be using the standard 12 volt um, supply to your car's computer to keep the computer going and save the memory while we change the battery. Now, before you disconnect the battery from the vehicle, it's very important for you to now use your jumper pack on the terminals of the battery so to ensure that the memory is saved throughout the vehicle. Now you can connect them to the ends of the negative and positive terminals of the battery here by either clipping them on 
with the clamps that come with the jumper pack so that you um, don't lose any of the computer memory because remember that these cars come with a lot of computers so we have to ensure that it's safe another way of connecting the jumper pack to the car is through the jumper terminals so we have the positive one which is located here you just slide that across and you gain access to it and the negative one is located right here so we're going to do that right now we connect the positive first and then we use the clip connect the negative one then what we do now is turn on the jumper pack so that gives a constant 12 volts to your computer now we are free to loosen the terminals of the battery and remove them okay so when you're um, removing the battery terminals ensure that they don't touch each other or touch any metal surface of the vehicle we're going to remove the negative terminal first and then the positive terminal that's going to tuck those away so just ensure that this is I'm just going to tuck it to, to the side right there so the positive terminal we just want to put it uh, right here so we can gain access to the rest of the battery so these batteries are very heavy so just gonna hold them with the, the handles and pull them off all right so this is the new battery put in place um, remember to bolt it down at the sides there using the correct tool just gonna bolt it down there a very narrow area, narrow compartment, so you won't be able to see a lot. Okay, so now that the battery is properly held down with the with the, with the bolt at the side there, we're going to connect the terminal. So we're going to connect the um, positive terminal first before the negative terminal. All right, so. Put that in place. Once that is properly put in, we're just going to hand tighten it. Not too tight now, just ensure that it's firm enough that it doesn't move. Okay? And test it so that one is properly held in place. Now you connect the negative terminal now and we want to ensure that we don't get any sparks from this one so we just gently put it over there in place right there no excessive sparks right once you have connected that one you also tighten it in properly held in place now and the final thing you have you will do now is disconnect your jumper pack from your terminals and we're just going to replace the cover of the battery place there my clips are broken so i don't have a lot of clips there so you firmly put that in place and um, if you have reached so far guys just remember to click that like if you enjoyed the video and just remember to subscribe if you haven't subscribed to the channel um, This is Chris from GB cars. I'll see you guys in the next video mm -hmm.